This week we're heading to Enterprise, Oregon for a little early October mule deer hunt with Chad Garrett and Eagle Cap Outdoor Adventure. Young Guns Outdoors is brought to you by Thompson Center Arms, America's master gun maker. Nikon, the trusted name in optics. Victory Archery, between draw and release comes victory. Alpine Archery, true bow hunting performance. You know, Oregon is one of the most diverse states that we have in this country. Parts of it makes you feel like you're going through the Great Plains in Kansas, and other parts of it makes you feel like you're in the deep, dark forest up in Canada. I got a phone call from Chad Garrett. He's the owner of Eagle Cap Outdoor Adventures out in Enterprise, Oregon. He said he had a young lady coming up from Southern California on a mule deer hunt, and her and her brother had came up the previous year and were both able to take two really, really nice mule deer, and her father's came up a time or two and gone elk hunting with him. So by the time he got through explaining to me everything that he offered to hunters and all the success that he had had before, there's no way I could turn this hunt down. You know, we'd never had been that far away from home before on a hunt. Tommy wasn't sure about going. We had a lot of things going on here and we'd have to be gone for a long time. So I took an opportunity, loaded my wife up, carried her on a vacation of a lifetime for her and did a little camera work myself while we were there. It turned out to be an awesome trip. Now our plane landed in Portland, Oregon. We got a rental car and had a six hour drive to the northeast corner of the state to a small town called Enterprise. And man, I am glad we took this trip if nothing else but for the scenery. It was absolutely breathtaking. You know a town's got its priorities straight when they've got the Ten Commandments posted right out front of the town square for everyone to see. You know, if more towns across this great nation would be like this, everybody would be a lot better off. Now you're looking at Chad Garrett. He is the owner and operator of Eagle Cap Outdoor Adventure. And this guy has got it going on. He offers mule deer hunts, elk hunts, cow and bull, he offers coyote hunts, badger hunts. He offers a little bit of everything, and he knows what he's doing. Our first morning's hunt, we met up with Glenn Hardcastle and Caitlin, his 14-year-old daughter. Now, they're from Southern California, and Glenn is teaching her right about the outdoors. Caitlin has already, in her short hunting career, done things that I've got deep in my bucket list to do. She's killed elk, and she's killed mule deer. And I don't mind telling you, that makes me just a little bit envious of this 14-year-old girl. <laughs> now, mule deer hunting out here is all spot and stalk. And Chad has got several different ranches that he's got permission to hunt on. 
So we spent a whole lot of time riding around the truck, which is what we're not used to whitetail hunting because most of the time we just climb up in the tree stand and we're done, we sit and wait. This is a lot different. You gotta scout these deer out, you gotta find out where they are, and then you gotta stalk them. In the process of all of this traveling around and, and stopping and setting up a spotting scope, we ran across several hundred head of elk. I mean, the most I've seen in Tennessee was just five or six, maybe in a pen somebody was raising or something, but this was truly amazing. This portion of Young Guns Outdoors is brought to you by Muzzy Broadheads, Bad to the Bone, and the T-Shirt Factory. We've got you covered. There it is. Michael, what are you doing? I'm trying out this try it with the new Speed Breach XT and his weather shield. And look at that group right there. Ha, ha. Whatever. Twins need changing and it's your turn. Here you go. What? For real. Triumph with Weather Shield, the new Magnum muzzle loader by TC. We gotta get y'all out of these diapers and in the woods. <laughs> Just lock and load the soft lock quiver from Alpine Archery. All soft lock quivers feature a quiet, vibration free mount that locks up fast with a quick and easy vertical adjustment. Just flip out the sharp lag bolt on the new compact quiver mount and attach your soft lock to any tree. The rails on the quiver clamp onto the mount in seconds. See the complete Alpine product line at your dealer today. Paralleled with reliability, selection, and quality, our guns stand side by side with the competition at a fraction of the price by offering the customer more value for less money. TriStar Sporting Arms provides a wide selection of firearms, each bearing exceptional quality and reliability. So whether it's wing shooting or beard busting, you can rely on TriStar's quality at a fraction of the cost. TriStar Sporting Arms, the value experts. You know, we're having to do this show just a little bit different than we normally do. We're going to have to do a lot of narrating throughout the hunt. You see, out west, the wind blows extremely, extremely hard. And sometimes it's hard for the microphone to pick up the guide or to pick up the hunter. So please just bear with us. You know, if you're planning a hunting trip in October out to Oregon, there's a couple of things I've come to learn you better be prepared for. The first thing is all different types of weather. We ran into rain. We ran into snow, and it was pretty warm when we first got there. The second thing to be prepared for is to walk a long ways. On this spot and stock style hunting, you better have you some really good boots on, because in the course of six days, I bet we covered 25 or more miles of walking, and that gets rough when you're not used to it. Now this is one of the storms I was talking about earlier. Storms out here are a whole lot different than they are at home because it's so wide open and spread out. You could see one coming from a long ways off and it would seem like it would take forever for these things to get anywhere. We would sit and watch a storm for what seemed like all day long before it would ever finally show up and dump whatever it was carrying on top of us, whether it be rain or snow or, or whatever it was. So it was pretty interesting to watch these storms from a long ways off. Thank you. 